Hi, this is Gali Gopharb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? Well, I hope you feel successful because our quote of the day is, successful people do what unsuccessful people are not willing to do. Don't wish it were easier, wish you were better by Jim Rohn. I absolutely love this quote. Success is not something that you reach. It is how you live your life. You can live your life either successfully, and then you will have success, or you can live it in an unsuccessful way, and then you will, your life will be considered, especially by you, as being unsuccessful. When we read in the dictionary about the definition of success, it says that it is the accomplishment of an aim or a purpose. But it is also described in the dictionary a little bit better as a uh, in my eyes, as a favorable outcome. And this is the description that I like best, especially if we are the ones to, to judge the outcome and we are the ones to be happy with our outcome. Usually we ourselves are the hard, are hardest on ourselves more than anyone else is. So what can make a favorable outcome of your life? This uh, is the very subject of my very first video that I uploaded to YouTube um, I created it about six years ago. I look totally different, <laughs> but uh, I built it. I uh, uploaded it when I was building a, a self-help website. Uh, it was an excellent, really amazing website. But unfortunately, in 2015, it got deleted by mistake by my hosting company, and there was no way to retrieve it. And after that, I built other websites uh, instead. So back to the question: What could make a good and favorable and successful outcome for your life? Well, each person, for every person, it is different. It is slightly different. But for most of us, what is considered a favorable outcome is shared. We share most of what we believe to be a favorable outcome. It is important to recognize what a favorable outcome is in order to be able to ensure that we reach it and consider ourselves as winners and consider ourselves, our life as successful and worthwhile. So as I mentioned in my very first YouTube video, Success or a favorable outcome in life means that we have fulfilled all of the six, all of its six components. And these are the six components of a very favorable uh, life. The first component is having peace of mind. It means that we are free from the chains of fear, guilt feelings, regret, and anger. This means basically that we have mastered our mind enough to overcome these feelings when they arouse within us. It means that we have a healthy mindset. Although we can, and probably will, feel these feelings of guilt, regret, fear, and anger once in a while, we are free from the change that, chains that they have on us. Fear will no longer freeze or disable us. Guilt feelings will no longer turn us down and make us please other people but forget to please ourselves and anger will not come out of us in such an uncontrolled manner we we feel overall feelings of happiness and control over ourselves and this is peace of mind when we have peace inside our mind when there is no more war between the ego and who we really are there is peace acceptance, calmness, and loss of attachment to specific results. It is knowing that what we are doing is absolutely right, and what we are doing is what we should be doing. So the next component of success or having a favorable outcome to life is having health and energy with lack of addictions, or in other words, living inside a healthy body. Without health, we cannot enjoy the fruits of our efforts and we will not have the energy to do much other than care for our own selves. We cannot be happy and fulfilled if we are not healthy or if we suffer some, from some kind of pain or addiction. Also, the more at peace we are in our mind, the healthier we can also be in our body because of the body-mind connection and the direct connection between the hormones that our body produces uh, regularly to certain situations outside of us and the overall state of our, the health of our body. So after we have achieved um, a healthy mindset and a healthy body, we will start to feel that we are ready to enter into a healthy supportive relationship one that is, accepts us and one where the partners are seen as equals and put each other 
towards becoming better versions of themselves. In this type of relationship, each partner is mature enough to understand their differences and even be happy about these differences. There is an understanding and balance in the relationship. And in their free time, the partners like to spend time with each other. Being in a healthy relationship is very is a very important part of an overall healthy personality, and it is an important component of a success, successful and favorable life. Now, uh, we usually turn to the next component once we are in a secure relationship. Now, of course, what I'm saying is the order of things is not always necessarily like this, but this is the most common order of things among most people, but it doesn't necessarily have to go this way. So the next component is having a healthy bank account. This is a very important part of happiness since without it we cannot be of much use to society or to ourselves. This puts, a, when we don't have sufficient income, it puts a constant restraint on what we can do and leads to a lack of contribution to society and this constraint and lack of contribution will not make us very happy. We will be too busy with our own survival to focus on anything else. We need to have enough income to support our needs and desires. So how much is enough money in order to be considered financially independent? Well, there is no definite number because financial freedom means different things to different people. But to all of us, it means that we do not have to worry about how we will pay our bills and how we will put food on our table. So, the fifth component of having a worthy, uh, a worthwhile life and uh, being successful is uh, having a worthy purpose and meaning behind all that we do or what we do. Most people need a worthy purpose to live for in order to function at their best. As I spoke about in the previous video, without having meaning and purpose in our life and behind what we do, the results we achieve will never make us happy. And to be successful, of course, we need to be happy and fulfilled. Having meaning and purpose behind what we do is the greatest driver towards progress. I will add a link at the end of this video to, the, to my video about meaning and purpose and how you can help yourself find yours, your meaning and purpose, and uh, so that you can have move you towards progress in your life. <laughs> so the last component of success is to strive for self-actualization. It is a term coined by Abraham Maslow, and I recommend you watch my video about the hierarchy of needs, um, which I will have a link to at the end of this video as well. This component of striving for self-actualization is uh, uh, something that allows us to feel that we can achieve our fullest personal potential, and we aim to become better and better. It is the highest level of psychological development. It's a stage where you are doing uh, all that you really are capable of doing, you want to do, and uh, you are enjoying it. In Abraham Maslow's book, he explains that a musician must make music, an artist must paint, a poet must write if he is ultimately to be happy. We must find and share our gifts with the world. We must realize or fulfill our talents and potentialities um, if we are to be successful. If our life is to be considered favorable and successful, we must do this. This does not mean that we uh, are perfect in, in all fields of life. No, it is just that we have accepted ourselves as we are with all of our flaws and also accept other people with their flaws. But um, we are, our personal flaws do not hinder our path towards doing what we feel we need to do. Now, even in our era of so much abundance, most people live life in depression, barely uh, meeting ends by the end of the month, in the faulty relationships, they find themselves being overweight with health issues, smoking or drinking too much, and living life without meaning or purpose in what they do. Most people are very unhappy with their jobs and they reach their retirement age practically broke, needing to depend on someone else for their livelihood. Now this happens because most of us do not have parents who are real examples of how to live a successful life, so we do not know. They themselves most often are still figuring themselves out. Then we have to spend our half of our life uh, figuring things out of the basics of how to make the best of ourselves. 
But the more interested you are in personal development, the sooner you will get there. And this is why I have created this playlist on my YouTube channel to help you reach fulfillment, happiness, and a, a, a life, a favorable outcome to your life as soon as you can. Now, to achieve all these components in, of success in our life, if we do not currently have one or a couple of them, then we must change something within us not within our circumstances but within us and all of my videos on this channel cover different aspects of this we must see we must search for and find the limiting beliefs habits actions or thoughts that we um, hold that are stopping us from achieving one or more of these components of a successful life and if we do not know what is stopping us from becoming our best, then we must do some introspective work to figure this out. Without changing something within us, we will not reach different results than we currently have. And the most important thing, the most important, is that once we have reached a place of success where you can call yourself successful in your own eyes, you have reached it by certain habits thoughts, beliefs, and actions. These brought you to your success. And now that you are there, you must keep these habits and everything else that led up to your success. Once you reach success, you must keep doing the things that made you successful. You must not go back to your faulty, faulty habits, thoughts, or actions, or behaviors. Once you reach success, you should not go back to your comfort zone. You, you, you have to stick to the new path and continue on it until the end. This is the only way to lead a truly worthwhile life. Now, this is not easy to do. We figure out that once we have reached the money, the family, the relationship, the health, the peace of mind, and our purpose, that we can relax and release some of these habits and actions that got us there. But this is not true if you want your achievements to last and, to, and you reach self-actualization. Now, I see this so often, almost every day in my clinic. People who stick to the gorilla diet lifestyle plan and heal from difficult health conditions and lose all of their excess weight and are very pleased with their results, some of them go back to their former lifestyles after they reach success and with time, they lose it all. They lose their health again. They lose their good shape and also they lose their happiness as a result. And these, that because the habits that get you to success must become part of your lifestyle. You must keep on going with them. Only then will you reach a life worth living in great joy, bliss, and health. So, <laughs> it's uh, difficult. It's not easy. I know this. So, as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will move you forward to a better life for you. And the question of the day is... Which areas of my life have I not reached the desired state of success for me? And which habits, beliefs, actions, or behaviors am I holding that block me from reaching my full potential? As usual, I recommend writing this question and your answers in a notebook especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can make sure that you are headed in the right direction for you. Now, the affirmation of the day that I'll finish this video off with is I am striving to live to my full potential and I can never fail because everything that happens in my life contributes to me being and becoming better. I am striving to live to my full potential every day and I can never fail because everything that happens in my life contributes to me becoming and being better. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition an affirmation has the power to alter your consciousness and your the way you live your life with repetition. So thank you very much for joining me and I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button for anything, for notifications on whenever I upload a new video. Also, please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com, for anything to move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.